Look at the sunshine. Let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Yes, beautiful. Got in a wonderful walk with Matthias today. Uh, we met up in town. I did a really great interview, which I'm going to attach after this. And then he was so wonderful. He was like, there, I'm headed to a food pantry, and I would like for you to go if you're not too proud. And um, first of all, I'm, I'm not too proud. I'm not ashamed to say when I'm low on food. Um, of course, it's hard to tell by my girth. <laughs> but I generally eat once a day. Um, I've been doing that for quite a long time. Uh, I've just kind of stuck with the fasting principle. But it was really uh, sweet of him. So we just left our rigs where we were and we needed to walk. So uh, we walked and there and I walked back. He went back and picked up his rig because he got quite a few more groceries. And on my video in the next few days, I'm going to include that. I have some little snippets. So I'm going to include that. But um, he's such a humble person. He um, has, as he says, learned to just take life in stride. He's going to be 72. I, I do have concerns. He told me he has quite a bit of mold inside of his um, van, and that just is not healthy. I offered to help clean it, and he was like, no, it's okay. You know, the good Lord hasn't taken me yet. I do have concerns for that. Um, mold is never good. And it's so easy to get inside of, let's see, do this, inside of our vehicles, you know, to, to get um, mold. So uh, that was my concern. He, as he said in the video, he did get that hose fixed, but he's not sure where the water's coming into his home from. So I'm going to... Uh, call him up later and harass him and try to help him figure this out because um, I, I don't want him to be sick or to get sick. But anyway, here is the update on Matias, 71 and a half years young, living in his van, still loving the Lord and uh, just trying to survive in a world that is getting harder and harder for him, he says. Uh, so pray for him. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, he just has a really wonderful soul. Uh, you know, I have to be honest, when I first met him, I was like, he kind of loud and out there. But that's when the Holy Spirit told me to be still and pay attention. And then come to find out he's just this really wonderful person that when you first meet him, he comes off a little rough. You don't see it in the videos of, uh, but it's because he's very outspoken and he's very loud. And that's just his personality. And as I get to know him, uh, I make a point a couple times a week to contact him just to make sure he's good and to come and visit him a few times a month. So, uh, yeah, he, he is just a really good person. He's uh just a loving caring and i was really grateful that we went to this food pantry it, uh, the people there were such a blessing and no judgment they um though i have my license and stuff they didn't require any idea of who you are or how many were in your home i could have put down five in my home and uh they would have gave me food for five people and of course that, that's deceitful and i wouldn't do that but i thought how wonderful they treat people with such um, kindness and love and caring. And as the lady was telling me when I was checking in, she goes, we want people to feel like they're at a grocery store. There's no judgment. So I, with that, I, I was really blessed and honored. Anyway, enjoy the video. God bless each and every one of you. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Gracie. Bye. He's back. Mr. Matias, how have you been? I'm getting by all right. Me and God keep going at it, and so I, I know I'm in good hands because I tried to put up a good argument, but it doesn't really work too well, but it, it works. But you are here, <laughs> yes. 
How you faring in the weather? Uh, I'm hanging in there. Uh, it's been raining cats and dogs, and I love that expression in the American language. The only thing is, I do get somewhat depressed when I go to the campground, and at 5 o'clock it's dark, and it doesn't get light till 7.30 in the morning. But then God tells me that if I wouldn't have something to complain about, things wouldn't be right. So I think I think we're good. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Absolutely right. So, you know, I mentioned, um, not on our last video, but in conversation, because people love you so much, that you were having trouble with a hose. H have you been able to fix that? Yes, I have. Um, I went to a guy that knows more about cars than me, and I said, can you fix this? And he goes, yeah. And I said, how much are you going to charge me? And he told me. So I gave him double, and so far it's still working. Woohoo! Oh, good. <laughs> That's nice. Well, you know, you yeah. gotta you gotta keep your friends the friends. You gotta give them something. That's true. That's true. So Christmas is coming. Do you celebrate? Yes, I do. Though not in the way that I used to, because I live alone now. But um, I tr I really try to incorporate the spirit a little bit more because. I don't know what happens in December, but in December, I turn into a little bit better of a human being because I see other people that actually have it worse than me. Yes. And I'm thinking, whenever I feel sorry for myself, maybe, maybe I ought to keep that in mind. So I'm really, I'm happy it's December. I will celebrate Christmas as well as I can. I'm even going to try to go to church. So I don't know, Baptists or Catholics? Well, once a Catholic, always a Catholic. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's true. Well, you could go to both. I could. You could. Why not? I mean, yeah. live it up a little bit, <laughs> right? Throw in a Protestant while you're there. Oh, I love them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's what you were telling me that one day. Yeah. So I hear you might be planning to go to another state in the next few months to visit? Yes. Uh, I have a first wife, and I have a second wife, and I have a third wife. The third wife is dead already. The first wife is facing pretty severe dementia and Alzheimer's, and before she forgets who I am, she keeps bugging me to come and visit her, so I was finally able to arrange something with her where I can go and visit her for a month, and I think I'm going to try to do that because it may be the last time, and, and, and she's too sensitive. If I would tell her that, she would fall apart. So, um, and I kind of gave my word, so I have to follow. Yeah. I'll put it. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to it, because I don't know why she likes me so much, but... Um, I don't know either. Yeah. <laughs> it's a mystery to me. I mean, when I look at myself, I'm going, are you kidding me? <laughs> You, you have um, a spirit that is lovable. I was telling you earlier, I call very few people friend, but you you have become a good friend. And uh, there, yeah, there's something about your spirit, your soul that is funny as heck, but you are truthful and very sincere. I try to be because you know what? I've tried to live the other way and it brought me nothing but grief and estrangement from God. I mean, I used to rage against him when I was younger. I mean, I mean, rage. But I know I'm forgiven because I told him that I'm sorry and that I put myself above him and to help me strike my pride and to eat it. And it's actually happening. And I think that's probably why I'm still alive at 71 and a half. I liken myself to a block of marble and God is Michelangelo. I've given him permission. And matter of fact, I have begged him to keep chipping away at this block of marble until he's done. Yeah. So I'm 71 and a half. He's not done yet. Not done yet. <laughs> Not yet. You got you got to hang out for a while longer. Right on. Yeah, we we all need to be here a little while longer and spread that. Yeah, that is that humble pie. When I remember my grandma used to say, "You need to eat that humble pie," and and that's true because when we think of ourselves greater than God, nothing works out. No, and it's a it's a sin that I don't think that He can forgive because if you're not penitent about that, if you don't understand why you exist and we exist solely to glorify God and don't ask me how it gets it done but I know that the words shall not return empty and so therefore you know right right you got a good outlook on it but you know we all we all mess up yes you know the great thing is is that we do know Christ so we come back because he doesn't leave us no, I mean, think about the Apostle Paul, right? I mean, he was hell on wheels. He was a murderer. He he was a killer. And God struck him with a blinding light and boom! Yeah. The same thing that was bad on him, he turned into good. And that's what made him so forceful and powerful. Without him, 
religion would have gone nowhere. Well, his whole mission was to kill the Christians. Yeah, so, yeah. at first. Yeah, at first, at first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then God had enough of that. <laughs> yeah, he said, "All right, I'm done. Let's let's start over, buddy." Well, <laughs> walk you on your yeah. <laughs> let's start over. Yeah. And that's the wonderful thing, in my opinion, for for being a Christian. I really truly believe and hope that whatever sin we commit and we become aware of it. If we're truly repentant and try our darndest not to do that, even though, you know, we may fall short again here, there, but as long as we have that repentance within us and making God our first priority in everything, law number one is thou shalt have no other God. Law number two is love your neighbor. All the other eight, the Catholics made them up. <laughs> and there's an 11th one in case you don't know, and that one is don't get caught. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. Yeah. yeah, God's God's good no matter what happens. Yes. He, he is good. Even when we don't understand it, when you look out in the world, here's the way I look at it. God owns this world, but Satan rules it. Yes. And God allows it because he gives sovereignty even to the devil. As a matter of fact, I would almost bet on this. I said almost. If the devil was truly repentant for what he done, God would forgive him. I've heard other people say that as well. Well, he is a forgiving, merciful, kind, loving God, but he also is jealous and he does Just. get angry. Yes. I've had people say, oh, he doesn't get angry. Well, yes, he does. Yes, he does. <laughs> let's let's remember one thing, and this has nothing to do with humans per se, but he, he definitely has emotions. And if we are created in his image, then he will reflect that. Let's also not forget that there is probably very co concrete evidence that God wiped out 90% of life on earth at least five times yes. before the mammals got to rise. Right. So don't tell me he don't get angry. Right, right. I just don't, I just hope that, I, you know, like I say, I've sinned against him before, but I'm, I'm truly sorry. And every now and then I fall back into it and immediately I have to whack myself on the hands and say, Matt, don't be stupid. Right, yeah. That's putting it nicely, yeah. Don't be stupid. That's true. Because there's so much more than what meets the eye. I think we have no idea what all there is out there. I mean, when you think about it, and Scripture says, the heavens shall pass away. Now, here's, here's something. There may be even more than one universe. This is stuff that has existed for billions of years. But right. everything shall pass away. That's true. That's true. So if... Do you have a message for people that, because it's a holiday time, and uh, we all have different storms and different walks in life. Is there something encouraging that you could share that is about your life to help someone else's life? This is what I really truly would wish for anybody and everybody that cares about anything. Take this month to open your heart to all the brothers and sisters out there. The ones that have money, don't worry about them too much. The guys that don't have any money, try to see Jesus in that because to me, that's not easy. Right. Because when somebody has money, it's easy to be friends with them. But when somebody has nothing, then you can be a friend. And the other thing is, if I can make a difference either in, you know, by, by helping somebody or making somebody laugh, I want to be open to that. And I want to keep working on that because when I can get a belly laugh out of somebody, that's right. what makes my day. Yes, yes. And, you know, Jesus says, when you do it unto the least of these, you have done it unto me. Yes. And when I was hungry, you fed me. When I, I was thirsty, you gave me water. Yes, yes. Yes. That's right. Well, I am so happy to see you. I'm happy to and, see you, And too. people have been asking about you a lot. So I'm glad we were able to do an update. And as you can see, Mr. Matias is alive and well and full of vinegar. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thank you again, friend, very much. God bless. God bless. Okay. <clears throat>